you see there is somebody in control of everything. He's somebody who knows everyone, who knows the past, the present and the future. He knows you better than you know yourself. He's your guardian. He's your friend. He's the one who will help you in spiritual life. He has been inside of you, always present as the super soul or the inner voice, the inner spiritual master. And he will guide you in any way, in here or there, to reach that destination, which is otherwise very difficult to reach because it is the, the highest domination where the Supreme Spirit lives in unity, in harmonious unity of love with all the other submissive loving souls. Those who join him in that love, they'll reach him, they'll be with him. And those who are not ready for that, who are still rebellious and want to be the enjoyers, they remain in this material world, birth after birth. That is the reason the samsara, the cycle of birth and death, exists. So that all your, set, all your desires can be satisfied and that you will be held responsible for any mistake you did. Because if you do give trouble to others, you bet on that some kind of trouble will also come back to you to teach you. Out of the kindness, the Lord has created a situation where everything which happens in this world is supervised and guided. And that is the way the Lord of all creation keeps justly in charge of everyone. There's no way out of that except except if you simply want to forget everything and just want to merge into the Brahman and become one in the spiritual substance and give up your personal involvement in the negative world of exploitation and you don't want to be part in the positive world of divine dedication but you just want to get rid of all sufferings and all personal responsibility and therefore you desire let me merge into the spiritual energy that possibility has been mentioned in the vedas but in no way has it ever been declared that that is the highest state of consciousness and that the supreme love has anything lesser to offer. Divine destination which our soul longs for, the land of love, the land of beauty and sweetness, that is intrinsically already present in your heart because you are potentially a member of that land. Therefore you long for it and therefore you belong to it. And you can reach there by the supreme mercy of the Lord of Sweetness. That Lord of Sweetness, he's called Govinda. And when we chant his name, Govinda Jaya Jaya, Gopala Jaya Jaya, Radha Ramana Hari, Govinda Jaya Jaya, our heart becomes joyful. And the prison shackles of this material egotism start falling off your hands and feet and you can understand you can actually meet him in your own heart in your deep meditation in your deep chanting in your deep servicing and finally when he wishes to in his own divine realm where our soul belongs eternally because this is the secret of our individuality, to find the Supreme Personality and love Him forever, as you automatically do with everybody else in this consciousness. Thank you very much for listening, and please chant from the core of your heart. You will never repent doing so.